Hi everyone, my name is Rosemary, founder of TechAble Assistive Technology. Continuing from the previous video on VoiceOver, which is the iPhone accessibility feature on Vision, today I'd like to show a couple more features of VoiceOver, the rotor and typing in VoiceOver. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so let me first turn on voiceover. I'm going to turn on from the control center. Accessibility shortcut. Voiceover on. Accessibility shortcuts. Heading. Then I'm going Selected. to Accept. go back to the home screen. Weather. Widget. So uh, what's rotor in voiceover? Rotor is like an invisible dial placed on the iPhone screen. So through a rotor, I can change the settings of a voiceover like reading speed or increase, decrease volume or reading text by te a word or character and etc. Um, using rotor. So let me show you how you can use rotor. I need to place two finger on the screen and then um, pretend that I'm turning a dial. So every time I place my two fingers on the screen and do the gesture like turning a dial, um, it's gonna move from one setting of a voiceover to the other setting. So let me first um, get to the reading rate and then I'm gonna change how fast the voiceover reads stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna place my two finger. Speaking rate. And first one it accessed was speaking rate. So that's when I get to the setting that I like to change. Then from there, I can use my one finger, flick up or down to change setting, change the value within the setting. So in this case, change the value of reading rate. So if I flick my finger up. 56%, 61%, 66%, 71%. increase the reading rate. And if I flick my finger down. 66%, 61%. 56%, 51%. It decreased the reading rate. And then I'm going to also using rotor to access the volume of the phone. So let me do that gesture of turning a dial using two fingers on the iPhone screen. Volume. So next one was volume. If I do one more time. Characters. Words, language, actions. It changes speaking rate to a different setting. So let me go to volume. Volume. Okay. And then here, again, if I flick my finger up, it will increase the volume. If I flick my finger down, then it will decrease the volume. 70 percent, 75, 80%, 85%, 90%, 95%, 90%, 80%, 70%, 70%, 65%, 55%, 70%, 80%, 85%, 90%. So that's how you can control the rotor. And you can add feature or remove feature from or to the rotor by going into voiceover setting. So let me show you how you can add or remove feature to the rotor. So I first need to go to settings. Find phone crop settings. And then like I explained in the previous video, um, if you want to open the selected item, then double tap using one finger. Settings. Control this home screen accessibility button. Accessibility features help you customize your iPhone for your 
And then I'm going to go to voiceover. Voiceover on. Voiceover on. Row 6 to 16 of 18. Com activities. Rotor. Button. So I'm going to open up Rotor under voiceover. Selected. Speaking rate. So the features which has check mark next to it is what's currently included in the rotor. Um, to remove it from the rotor, um, just uncheck it by double tap the screen with one finger. Speaking rate. So speaking rate is now unchecked. So it's removed from the current rotor. Reorder selected and volume. If if you want actions to, available. If you want to add it again to the rotor, go to the item. Reorder speaking rate. And then double tap with one finger to have a check mark next to it. Selected speaking rate. Let's move to the typing mode in voiceover. VoiceOver gives you a few different options for typing. So let's first go to Settings. Make settings. Settings. And then Accessibility. Dispo accessibility button. Accessibility features help you cust VoiceOver and on voiceover. button. VoiceOver on. And under VoiceOver, there is Bra voice over record braille but speech button commands but audio button verbosity uh, com act rotor button typing, typing button so i'm gonna go into typing typing style standard typing typing style selected St so under typing style you'll see three different options standard typing touch typing and direct touch typing so let's start with standard typing so let me go back to the home screen dog weather widget and then let's open photos notes. camera notes notes 90 per note text field note text field note text field with standard typing mode you can drag your finger on the keyboard which is shown at the bottom of the screen to find a key cap, cap g cap h and then double tap the screen with one finger to enter enter the selected character cap h or you can place your finger on the key and then tap with the other finger to enter it. J a a D E E Bottom of screen G A J K L and Then I'm going to tap with my other finger L like that. So to type in L, I can double tap with one finger. L. Or. Uh oh. To oh. enter that, I hold my finger on the key and then tap the screen with another finger to enter that character. Oh. Like that. And of course, you can flick left or right to move within the screen. I, U, Y, T, Y, U, I, O. Let me move to the next line. K, L, delete, return. So return and then double tap. New line, hello. And then let's uh, go to the next typing mode. So I'm going to use a rotor to change the typing mode. Speaking rate. Volume. Typing mode. So I'm in a typing mode. So I'm going to flick my finger up or down. Direct touch typing. 
Touch typing. Standard typing. Okay, so let's move to the touch typing. Touch typing. Okay, so similar to the standard typing mode to use the touch typing, I can drag my finger over the keyboard to find a key. But as soon as I lift my finger off of the key, it will type. So let me um, type hello one more time. Cap, cap G, cap H. So I'm on cap H, and then when I lift my finger up, cap H, it types H. E, E, L, L. Like that. But um, it doesn't work on a few keys like word prediction keys and return keys. So in that case, I still need to double tap to select the key. So let's try the word prediction key. G -T -Y, hello, prediction. So it's on hello, but it doesn't type that word. So I'm going to do the double tap with one finger to enter it. Mrs. Prediction. And again, let me try the return key. F H space return. It doesn't do the return, so I'm going to double tap. New line. Like that. But it works on all other keys like... Cap numbers. Number keys. Two, three, three. So like, uh, as soon as I lift my finger off of the key, it types that key. Left six, six. Dot com, question mark, question mark. Like that. 36. So I think compared to the standard typing mode, this touch typing mode, it's, you can type a little bit faster than the standard, standard typing mode. And let me press the return Sick. key one more Sick. time. Return. Double tap. New line. Okay, and then let's move to the next typing mode. Speaking rate. Misspelled words. Speaking rate. Volume. Typing mode. Okay. Typing mode and then flick finger up. Standard typing. Standard typing. Direct touch typing. Direct touch typing. Touch typing. Touch typing. So direct touch typing. Last typing mode is direct touch typing. Direct touch typing mode is like um, using a keyboard without using a voiceover. So it's like a regular keyboard. So if I touch the key, it will type. Cap F, return, U, D, H, Z, H. Like that. I can still drag my finger around the keyboard to find the key. G S A D F G H. Like that. But to enter the key, I still need to tap the key to enter it. H, N, G. Like that. If you use the voice dictation feature along with one of the typing mode, then I think you can type pretty fast uh, when you use voiceover. So to use the voice dictation feature, um, you need to double tap the screen with two fingers to start the voice dictation and then to stop the voice dictation, you do the same gesture. Double tap the screen with two fingers. So let me show you how you can do, um, do it. See you tomorrow, period. Inserted see you tomorrow. That's all I have for today. Thank you for watching.